Hi, flower friends. Do you have a special woman in your life who's helped you become the person you are today? Perhaps it's your mom, but it could be an aunt, a neighbor, a teacher, or even a special friend. Mother's Day is Sunday, May 9th, and we will be fully stocked with all the things that will help you show your appreciation. We'll have flowering plants, full vase arrangements, and even some wrap bouquets. Thank you so much for shopping small and thinking of us for your Mother's Day needs. Advance orders are always appreciated. What better way to show mom that she's the queen on May 9th than with a crown made of flowers? For today's tutorial, I wanted to show you how to make a quick and easy baby's breath flower crown. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you'll never miss one. So what we have is thin floors wire and I've covered it with a layer of green corsage tape. It's actually sticky on one side. So what we have here is some ivory satin ribbon and that's getting attached to the hook on each end of the wire. The ribbon is going to help affix it to your head and kind of customize the fit. Making the floral crown is actually pretty easy. All you're doing is just taking your flowers and your greenery and making small bundles and attaching it to the wire. The products today that we're using is seeded eucalyptus and baby's breath. Again, it's really not difficult. It's just a little bit time consuming and repetitive and simply just keep attaching your bundles.
I always suggest to brides that if they're going to make a floral crown, to make it the day before the event. So that way it stays fresh. And also you can mist it with some cool water or Crown and Glory and keep it in the refrigerator. To finish the crown, simply fluff everything out and then tie the ribbon together and put it on your head. It's as easy as that.